Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today we'll talk about how we can use Docker Hub to store our uh, Docker image and how we can like pull the images from the Docker Hub and how we can push the images to the Docker Hub by using AWS EC2 instance. So for that, what we have to do first, we have to create a account to this Docker Hub. So I have already in this Docker Hub page. So if you just Google search like uh, Docker Hub uh, like this, let me show you Docker Hub. So it will very first link will come this one. So just click here. That is the sign up for free and it's a completely open source and as well as the enterprise version also available. So today's demo like I will talk about like uh, open source one and what the advantage here is like since it is a open source and free right. If we are storing our images to the like uh, AWS ECR right so then there is a charges is there right. But if you would like to use the free right then you can utilize this docker app. that's the one advantage and disadvantage I can say. And another thing is like uh, this is like a uh, container uh, like a uh, what I can say container manager right so here we are storing our image like uh, all this thing right so let me show you how we can create account here so let's give here let's give the username Like the bosses here. It's done, right? So let's sign up. So now we are logged in here. This is our uh, user and here the I was talking about right? there is a enterprise version as well as free version. So free version there is a limited uses and for enterprise there are multiple uh, add on some uses is there like how many image you can push and pull per, per day like that is there. Right? And here also in this Docker engine, you can integrate with the Kubernetes also. In my, why I came this topic today is because in my next subsequent video, I have a plan to show you like AWS EKS. And in that I, I am planning to use like how from Docker Hub, how we can uh, use the Docker Hub image to deploy in that EKS container or maybe from ECR, how we can take the image to deploy in the EKS container. Okay guys, so that's the why I have to before go to the AWS EKS. I thought okay let's uh, give that uh, little thought about how we can use docker hub okay guys so this is the one so let's select that uh, free tires one here continue with free now here it is asking please verify your email address so let me verify my email address i have already my mobile so let me verify ah, it's come already so like this it will come so you you have to click on that so just verify email so it's kind of like confirmation is the like a correct pupil or not or is the right email address or not right so that's the purpose of whole this one so successfully verified so just if you see successfully verified just reset refresh this page your email has been verified okay guys so now here either you can use the browser version or you can download the docker desktop docker hub desktop and that also you can use and, and that to be available windows mac and linux so today's session let's use the browser one only and let's try to create a, a registry and then try to push our images okay so this is our registry name let's uh, give that And here the two options, one is the public, another one is the private. Okay guys, so. Repository name I gave cloud tech, let's create here. So our image is created, right? So the repository is created. This is the 
place we can uh, like uh, we can post our image okay guys so how we can post image so now for that what we have to do we have to first launch one ec2 instance on that ec2 instance we will configure the how we can use docker okay guys so i have already running one ec2 instance in my previous session i have already demonstrated how we can use like a docker on a ec2 instance and uh, all the step i have mentioned there i will give that link to this video description today i will just or uh, this is the uh, instance is running where every docker all the setup is there so for this today's session i will just quickly show you what all step uh, we need to follow to configure the docker in aws ec2 instance okay guys and i will give those all the command to this video description so that it will be helpful to you guys so let me show you quickly what all step we need to follow so if you are in aws ec2 instance first we have to up update that then we need to install the docker then we have to give the user mode and then we have to set this one then we can enable the docker service and we can start the docker and then we can check the docker status also and finally we can check the docker version once it is done then we can create our image image means uh, if you would like to create image right then what we need basically uh, high level i am just giving uh, for more details i would request you guys to refer my previous video where i have uh, demonstrated how we can create docker image all this thing okay guys to create a docker image we need the docker file and in the docker file we can give like where the entry point or uh, what you would like to start right so now for this images i am using like uh, ngx and uh, and here i am using that index.html which uh, i am deploying so what its content basically index.html uh, like a title and simple html page and the welcome to the cloud tech this is a simple web page for docker ecr ecs and eks demo okay guys so this is what we have and here i am just run command i am giving this permission and if you have any python or anything then you have to specify here like entry point python and what from where you want to start okay guys something like that so i today's session we have only html so let's keep this one and once it is done right so what we need to do we need to build the docker image this is the command and we can tag that image docker uh, this is the command and then we can run that image so let me go one by one so let's go to the docker so here i have this is my ec2 instance which is running right let me show you that config or ip address 206 right so let me show you that 6 right this is my instance where it is running and all the step whatever command i have showed you just now right everything i have already installed here so let me show you that Docker. So this is my docker version okay let me check what all images we have here so here already i have that static web app what i was talking about right so let me show you that so this is my docker file what it is content let me show you that bi so this is the content what i just now i showed you in that uh, uh, that uh, what i can code a microsoft visual studio code so same Thing we have and here index.html let me show you that also here this simple html tag okay now what i have done here we can build the docker image so how we can build uh, like let me show you that command so this is the docker build hyphen t and what image name you would like to give so that image name we can give here like this we can build so any name you can specify here. let me show you that something like that so it is built successfully let me show you that image is there or not so if you see right here is our image cloud tech demo right and if you would like to start this image right so let me see like if if any image is running or not these are the basic command this is the image is running right already so what we can do we can stop also how we can stop stop and then image id what container is running right that container id you have to specify now it is stop let me show you that docker ps no image is running here now what we will do we, whatever image just now we created right this image will run so how we can run so let me show you the run command this is the run command and here i can give them my image name Do, sudo docker run 
and then how, which port you would like to run so that port also we have to specify it. so by using that port only we can access our application whatever application we are running in this docker hub docker okay guys so this is my image so let me run here so now see docker ps see this is running and if i try to it's a simple static web application right so if i hit just uh, by curl command then i should able to access right so let me see see i am able to access this one right so even i if i hit that instance uh, dns address also i can able to access let me show you that This is like a not a HTTPS, so let me remove this. So it is loading. Okay, still it is an HTTPS, so remove this. See, whatever we have given in that HTML page, right? So same thing, it is coming here. Now, how we can push this image to Docker? Uh, docker hub here right now if you see here we don't have any image right so to push this image what we need to do we need to docker push then cloud tech tag me this is the command we have to follow so for that what we need to do we need to tag the image like this okay guys so let me show you that so let's first tag the image how we can tag so tag the image so tag command already i have specific written here so docker tag so for today's uh, our case we need to change this one this is uh, the image was there at that time so let's tag this image here and now let's go here I will give all this command to this video link description so that it will be helpful to you guys docker now we can see cloud tech cloud tech something like that image we can see here right now we can push this image to our registry how we can push so let me show you that so if you come here this is the command is mentioned right docker push then this one right so let me call. yeah tag whatever tag you would like to push right so in our case tag if you see here you can check the tag which tag is there so this is our tag so you can copy and docker push now here it's giving access denied why because because that particular registry we don't have access so for that what we need to do first we need to log into that particular registry what how we can log in docker login hyphen u then what our user uh, c l o u d tech i n d is our user right cloud tech i n d and it will prompt us to password also so let's give the password Now we are able to successfully log in. Now let's try to push. And then our image and colon. Now we can push. See, now it is pushing. So it's pushed already. Now if you see Docker, yes. Okay. So now let's go to the console and just refresh this one. We can able to see here one image is pushed here in the repository. See now his image came here, right? Latest and pushed. Now if you would like to uh, get this image in your local uh, directory, right? How we can get it? Let me show you that too also. Here we have the worker images. RM. Let me remove this image. Search. Okay, image ID we can give. Registry, right? So let's give the image ID corresponding. Search container. Oh my god. Docker. Yes. Running huh? so let's remove this. 
cannot remove running container ok let me stop this first worker stop try to remove now No such container why it is not removing. Okay, do one thing. So this is the image, right? So what we can do? Let me go to this. how it's not deleting image. Docker image RM okay Docker image command is wrong okay that's why it is not removing now it is removed right now check the Docker image now this image is gone right now let's try to pull that image so Docker pull That image and image tag right so docker pull what you want to pull right so that you can get it from here so this is our image uh, let's give here latest now it is pull right so docker now check images now we are able to see our image came here. See here it is not there. Docker image I just now removed. Then I pull from Docker. So what the benefit here is like uh, you can maintain your image. Like it's a kind of GitHub, right? In GitHub we used to maintain our code, right? Our source code we used to maintain in GitHub or GitLab, right? In AWS like uh, we have like code commit uh, that repository we have, right? So similarly in open source we have like uh, if you would like to maintain your images, right? then you can use this docker hub where you can keep your images okay guys so i hope this will helpful to you guys and if you like this session then i would like request you guys to please do like share with your friend and please subscribe my channel that will really inspire to me and i will come up my next subsequent video like i have a plan to give you one more demo like in my next chat gpd with lambda so i am coming that demo you know guys uh, the chat gpd is like a very hot uh, uh, topic in today's tech stack right so that's why i thought like okay let's come um, some uh, some uh, some aws with chat gpd how we can integrate so in my next subsequent video i will talk about and then i will talk about next subsequent video docker with eks okay guys so that already all the setup i have done so i will do in my next subsequent video okay guys if you like this video then please like share and subscribe my channel that will really inspire to me and i will see you guys in my next subsequent video chalo bye